Got his fingers in a lot of pies from what I hear. Junior's in half of it. He got scams you haven't even dreamed of. Kickbacks on his kickbacks. It's a river of dirty money running through this place. Yeah, the problem with having all that money is that sooner or later you're going to have to explain where it came from. Well, that's where I come in. I channel it, filter it, funnel it. Stocks, securities, tax-free municipals. I send that money out into the real world, and when it comes back... Clean as a virgin's honey butter. Cleaner. By the time Norton retires, I'll have made him a millionaire. If he ever catch on, though, he's going to wind up in here wearing a number himself. Now, Red, I thought you had a little more faith in me than that. Oh, no. I, I know you're good, Andy, but all that paper leaves a trail. Now, anybody gets curious... FBI, IRS, whatever. It's going to lead to somebody. I'm sure it is. But not to me. And certainly not to the warden. All right, who? Randall Stevens. Who? A silent, silent partner. He's the guilty one, Your Honor. The man with the bank accounts. That's where the filtering process starts. They trace anything. It's just going to lead to him. But who is he? He's a phantom, an apparition, second cousin to Harvey the Rabbit. I conjured him out of thin air. He doesn't exist, except on paper. Heavy, you can't just make a person up. I'm sure you can. You know how the system works, where the cracks are. It's amazing what you can accomplish by mail. Mr. Stevens has a birth certificate, driver's license, social security number. Who shit if they ever trace any of those accounts, they're going to wind up chasing a figment of my imagination. Well, I'll be damned. Did I say you were good? You said you were Rembrandt. You know, the funny thing is, on the outside, I was an honest man. 